that I'm going to share today on the Maria Fontana show is this, that um, we are jumping from shiny object to shiny object. So welcome to the Maria Fontana show. My name is Maria Fontana and I'm your host. And today I'm going to be talking about how we need to focus on mastering one thing before we jump from the you know thing to thing, the next shiny object, and trying to be all over the place. So today I was at a meeting with a client this afternoon, and she was telling me how she felt overwhelmed by social media, by showing up live on her live streams, and the tasks that she was trying to do to build her business were just overwhelming to her. She didn't feel aligned. She felt like she was just becoming paralyzed and not getting the results that she truly wanted. So here's something I see a lot of entrepreneurs doing. I see a lot of entrepreneurs jumping from thing to thing to thing. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I am a 38-year entrepreneur and business owner. I have been a salon owner and hairstylist for over 30 years and owned multiple salons. And I launched my own coaching consulting online business 15 years ago that is extremely successful and is global. I do speak two languages. I speak Italian fluently and I speak English. And right now I am helping really create a movement of helping hairstylists, salon owners, beauty and wellness for professionals expand their business, create a new stream of income, and create a new way to make money in the online space by sharing their magic, their skills, their experience, and everything that they have become an expert at. So when I say master one thing before you jump to another, I'm going to be talking, referring back to my client from today. So she was paralyzed because she felt like she could not master the social media, the marketing part of it. And that's because she was trying to do too many things at once. And I see a lot of entrepreneurs doing this. They're jumping from thing to thing to thing, just trying all kinds of stuff without mastering one thing. So just for you know the record, I'm going to share with you guys, when I started my coaching consulting business, I grew to my first six figures doing live videos, right? I, wherever you're listening to this right now, maybe you're listening to me on my podcast, maybe you're following, you're listening to me on Facebook or TikTok. This is now I've expanded to many channels, but when I started, I focused on one channel and mastering growing relationships on that channel, mastering connecting with my ideal audience, mastering getting really good at delivering high quality videos that were full of value for my clients, right? Does that make sense? So when you are showing up on multiple platforms, just throwing stuff all over because you think that that's good marketing, it's not. It's overwhelming. People don't understand what you're doing and it doesn't have a strategy. So I want you to think of showing up and mastering one way of building relationships with your clients or social media, I want you to think of it as baking a cake, right? You're not going to go turn on 10 different ovens to bake the one cake and then try and put a little bit in each oven, right? Because you're going to get, unless you're making cupcakes, <laughs> you're going to get a bunch of little different cakes be baking at different times. You want to focus on one vehicle, master driving that vehicle, and once you've mastered that, tweaking it, fine tuning it, and always making it better. So how many of you listening are actually, does this resonate with? Is this, this sound like you? Have you been putting your eggs in all the baskets? Are you all over social media? Are you overwhelmed trying to attract clients to your coaching, consulting, or service-based business, but yet you're not getting the results because you're just throwing stuff everywhere? And there's no recipe. So today I'm going to talk about the three things that you need to create the recipe, which I call a game plan, to attracting great clients and mastering one platform or one vehicle to grow your business. Now, remember, the vehicle could be a social media platform. 
The vehicle could be your Google business listing. It could be running ads. It could be doing a podcast. It could be doing audio um, lives on LinkedIn or on a lot of uh, other different platforms. There's so many juicy, awesome ways. It could be speaking live on a stage. So it's not limited to one way that you're gonna present yourself as your personal brand to attract quality clients into your, into your practice. So the first thing you wanna do is be crystal clear. No matter where you are in your business, be crystal clear as to who you are, what you do, and who you serve. This is the biggest mistake I see entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, service-based business owners making. You're not clear as to what your expertise is. So really hone in, drill down. What's that expertise that you want to be for your business? Which brings me to what's the solution? What kind of painkiller are you, right? What pain or solution are you, painkiller or solution are you bringing to your clients, right? Think about this. I want you to grab a pen and paper and just start writing these things down. I want you to start brain dumping, right? What is it that you solve better than anyone else? And what's the solution that you give? So first of all, be crystal clear on this, who you are, what you do, and who you serve. And if there's one be bit of advice that I've learned from making this mistake myself, drop the jargon, drop the fancy talk, the elaborated titles and blah, blah, blah. Keep it simple. One of my like amazing mentors said to me one day, Maria, make it that a kindergartner or a third grader can understand it. No more than third grade reading level. It has to be really clear and easy what you help people do and the results you help them get, right? By being crystal clear with this, it allowed me to literally make it so simple that I was like, no, 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 this isn't fancy enough. I'm not really sure. It is, 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 this, is this all there is to it? Simplicity is queen. Simplicity is king. The simpler things are, the easier it is for people to articulate and to actually take action on them, right? So make sure you're crystal clear on whatever platform you're using. If it's your podcast, if you're on Facebook Live or on TikTok Live, or if you're doing audio you know, classes over on LinkedIn or whatever it is you're focusing on as your one platform to master. Now, let me just step back a second. I got a question the other day from a client. She said, how do I know what platform to master? You got to do your market research, guys. So if you're a new coach, consultant, online educator, or you have a service-based business that's a brick and mortar still, these, these apply to either or. You have to be crystal clear as to who that ideal client is that comes from that expertise that you just made sure you're clear that you know who you serve, you know what your solution is. So then you have to do your market research. Where is that ideal client hanging out? Like, where's that ideal client? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on TikTok? Do you need to do outreach, right? There's all these different things. Each platform is different. So TikTok and Pinterest are SEO. So they do outreach to make brand awareness of your brand. Instagram is more of a nurture platform, right? LinkedIn is more of a professional platform, but it's also great for making real connections with real people who are ready to do business. So again, I'm not here to harp on the marketing end of it or the social media platforms end of it, but you have to know, because even if it's your podcast, you have to be crystal clear as to what, who you're talking to, who you are, who you serve, and what those people need and where they're hanging out. So by getting these things crystal clear and focused, you can really amp up your game. So here's an example. I sat down to record this podcast and live show because I'm doing two things at once today. And I thought to myself, what, which one of my platforms will be really beneficial? Now, when I started out in business, I only had one platform. I worked on that platform. I mastered it. I learned how to generate quality leads. I learned how to share value. I learned where my ideal clients were and what they wanted from me. That then 
I decided to add more platforms that were aligned with the people I was talking to correctly, right? So it's not about being everywhere and just sharing nonsense and low quality content. It's about being in specific places, mastering that, and then adding other platforms that resonate, that are going to actually add value to your client and your audience and are going to add value to the people who follow you because it's not about the followers or the vanity metrics it's about the connections right so if you're watching or listening to this i want you to like subscribe follow share out this episode with anyone that you think it would be beneficial for that is how we grow and by sharing great content with people it helps you expand also by being helpful. You see how that's like all karma. So once you master your one platform, then you can add your second or your third. Now there's so much different jargon and so many different gurus online teaching people different things. I personally share and teach what I know for sure. And what I know for sure is that when you master one platform and you know your audience is there, you can add another one and add high value to it. So make sure you're crystal clear on the points that we cover today. Also, when it's time to grow your personal brand, remember your personal brand is an extension of you. So be authentic, which means show up in a way that's going to resonate with your clients. Don't be like someone else or don't mimic someone else. Don't act like someone else. Be truly in your power as yourself because the right clients and people who are in your audience that really want to grow with you and know you will be so happy to connect with you because they're on the same page they're vibing with you right and I remember when I started my coaching consulting business 15 years ago I didn't know anything about tech so when when I decided to start going live on video it was scary right I didn't I mean some of my old videos that you can, you can see some of my first original videos on Facebook and on um, YouTube. Wow, what a difference. But of course, as you do things more, you get better. As you show up more, you get to know what kind of value you can deliver to your clients. And really at the end of the day, guys, content is so you can add value to your audience. Content in, for your business is so you can make brand awareness and people can know who you are, what you do, and who you serve. So for all my beauty and wellness professionals who are thinking about launching a new branch of business, adding a new stream of income in 2024, I would love to invite you personally up above or below this video or podcast. There's an invitation to the reinvention strategy formula workshop. That workshop's free and I'm going to be pulling the curtain back and sharing the exact steps I took to grow my personal brand as a coaching consultant after being a hairstylist and salon owner of 30 years. If this is something that resonates with you, it tugs at your soul, you're curious, you're ready to reinvent yourself, or just wondering how I did it, please come. It's absolutely free. We have replays, and I'm also going to be doing a live Q&A. So if you're curious about what it's like to work with me. If you want to pick my brain live, I want you to come and, and join me for this.